Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. In this video, I'm going to get a basic mock-up of the rear end, work on the rear mounts for the hairpins, and start working on the front um, shock absorbers.
Okay, so as you can see, the first thing I did here was I took out that big table that I had made um, before. I really only needed that for building the frame on. So now that I got that out of here, I have a lot more room to, to get around and work on things. And it frees up a lot of space, which is nice. So back here, I did kind of a basic mock-up of the rear end, how that's going to sit. I just made some of those wooden stands there for, for that rear axle there. So that can sit in there now. I can just kind of get an idea of how that's going to look. And I think it's going to turn out pretty nice. I really like how, how that's looking so far. And up here, I still haven't gotten that steel to make the hairpins yet, but I was able to make the rear mounting points for them. Basically all it is is just a piece of steel like this here. Um, with that hole I drilled in there that takes this this pin right here for those those tie rod ends um, right here. So that just goes in there like that. And this, this is actually for the other side there. And then that bolts in. And the thing about these holes here is you can see this pin right there, it's not, it's not straight. It's got a taper to it. So I had to do this in the lathe here, drill this out, and then um, put that taper in there. So now that fits in there really nicely put the nut on the other end here and that'll tighten right up. And that's just going to weld to the underside of the frame right here. As you can see, this one is already kind of set up in there. And then the hairpin will connect to that. I just kind of have these two pieces of wood in there um, just to get an idea of how it's going to look. So in the meanwhile, since I wasn't able to start building the actual hairpins yet, I started building the front shocks. And I'm going with this friction shock design. Um, which a lot of the early early race cars had, really really early race cars had. Um, basically all it is here, there's a couple designs, but the design I went with is um, you've got these, this will bolt right on the side of the frame here, and it'll have another piece that connects this down to the axle somewhere. And this is basically just some plates of steel in there with uh, some friction material in between. Right now, I just have those discs of wood in there just for mock-up purposes. Um, I'm not actually going to use wood in there. You'd use like um, nylon discs or even like leather discs, something like that. Um, so this just goes on the side of the frame here. That's attached to the axle, and then this gets this, this bolt gets tightened down, and then just the resistance of twisting this is what dampens your suspension. Obviously, it doesn't work nearly as good as. Um, any hydraulic shock, but if it's done right, it looks really nice on the correct build, and they work well enough to not be dangerous. So that's kind of what that's kind of what I'm going for here. Made, so I got all the pieces done for this except one main part, um, which is a spring to keep tension on here. As I'm sure you can imagine, if I only had that bolt on there, um, that'd loosen up pretty quickly since there's nothing really to keep tension on there. Um, the bolt itself won't really do that. So there has to be some sort of spring to keep tension there. What some people do when they make their own um, friction shocks like this is they'll put a valve spring on the back here with that bolt on there. Um, I'm not going to do it like that because I think it looks like garbage. So I'm going to try to go the more accurate route with this. What the actual um, friction shocks had was kind of a, um, a five prong like spider spring on the front of the, the bolt there and then that's what would give the tension there. And that looks so much better than just sticking a valve spring on the back of that. So I am, I'm assuming that I can't really find those, those special springs anywhere, so I'll have to try to like find some spring steel and maybe make my own. Um, but this is how it's t turning out for now. You can see I just drilled four of those holes there, um, and then I'll put some holes in the frame here so that'll bolt right on there, and I think that'll turn out really nicely. So, yeah, other than that, I don't really have too much for you today. Um, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. So, I should be getting to making the hairpins soon. I keep talking about them, but I haven't made them yet. Um, if I don't get, those, get to those in the next video, um, I'll probably continue working on these um, shocks there. I'll get those bolted to the frame and kind of set up and everything. Um, so, yeah, that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.